welcome back to another Why Would You Use? Uh, this time we're going to be going over the Taipido, which is a slightly more advanced weapon built out of um, two other weapons. I don't remember what they are. They'll be on screen. I don't remember what its components are, actually, unfortunately. Um, but it is a slightly advanced weapon in that you need to use other weapons to build it, so it may take you a while, provided you are getting the mastery for those weapons to acquire it. But the Taipido, I find, is one of the better melee weapons in the game uh, and just generally does a good job of killing enemies very quickly, providing a lot of hits, a lot of knockdown, decent status chance with the way I've built it, uh, and is good with life strike. Uh, it being good with life strike uh, in that you can kind of just channel, hit really fast, fully restore your health, and then turn off channeling. Uh, is kind of, that's how I consider it to be good with life strike, uh, and generally it is just a great fun weapon. Uh, also in part to its stance being absolutely outstanding. I love the stance for the stabs, uh, and it turns out that although it has uh, some bladed portions and it's not really what you would call a staff usually, it is considered a staff. Uh, I think I actually wrongly categorized it in the video because it is it seems more pole army to me. Uh, but yeah, it is a staff, and with the Clashing Forest stance, it becomes very, very good. Uh, it has Resolute Fury, and then its basic combo, uh, and then Battering Roots, which I don't use very much. Uh, it's got a pause in it, and is just, gen like, it's fine, but it's not something that I would use all the time. Resolute Fury, however, is really, really good. Uh, so this is the build that I'm generally using for the Taipido, no forma. Uh, and it gives me, well, these stats. 20% critical chance is fine. I didn't feel the need to increase it any further. Uh, and then its channeling cost is at 10, mostly because of life strike. Uh, and then, of course, I use focus energy to kind of bring that back a little bit. Uh, it's got good spin attack damage. Spinning into enemies is really effective on trash mobs. Uh, and then it's got the 44% status chance with as many hits as it's getting out. Ends up being really, really good because it has a 1.5 attack speed, or 1.47. Close enough. Uh, this makes it, I'm fairly certain, the fastest attacking um, long reach weapon, I suppose, which would include pole arms and stabs and uh, heavy weapons. Uh, I believe it is the fastest attacking of that kind of type of weapon where it's got a long reach. Uh, without using reach mods. Uh, so I should also mention uh, this build that I use uh, for the Taipido is usually what I take with Excalibur uh, because the Taipido by itself with this build ends up being totally fine, completely serviceable, lots of knockdowns as I said before, all that stuff. And then on top of that, this build works really, really well for Exalted Blade, uh, which I will not be uh, using whenever we do the uh, test as it were, later. Uh, so, uh, this build just ends up being really good. Lots of knockdowns with your blast. It's got corrosive, so if you need to work through an enemy's armor, you can over time. Uh, obviously, I would switch corrosive out were I going on a, a corrosive projection run. Although, personally, uh, whenever it's to the point where we need corrosive projection, I usually kind of stop using uh, non-specific melee weapons. Uh, and by non-specific, I mean like Valkyr's Claws would still get used, Exalted Blade would still get used, things like that. Uh, I kind of stop using regular melee weapons and switch into gun mode, as it were. Uh, but, overall, the Taipido is just... It's, a, it's slightly hard to acquire, although I think it is beneficial to acquire, because if you get the two weapons it's built out of, um, you get all the mastery from those, and then you put them together, and then now you have the Taipido, and the Taipido is just a really, really solid weapon that attacks super fast and just generally does exactly what you want it to, I would say. Uh, if you just want a fast attacking, knockdown weapon with a, like a good slam, like it's it's got everything in its kit that you could realistically ask for, I suppose. Uh, and it's just a solid weapon. Uh, there's not really much else to say about that other than its moveset is really good and it's got awesome stats and it works well. So let's go show it off, I guess. All right, so it's time for another live fire test. Uh, well, or a live swing test, I guess, as it were, because we're using a melee weapon. 
Uh, so let's try and get roughly what we were doing before uh, to these guys. Should be fine. Two of them. Uh, four of you. Four of you. Uh, let's do like three of these guys this time. Uh, uh, we'll do two of these and then fill in the rest with these. Uh, so again, this is on the strong end. Usually you're going to get a lot more crewmen and lancers in here. Uh, but let's do it. Okay. So, uh, I will say, melee weapons, uh, while trying to use as few powers as possible, are never nearly as good, and you have to play a little more hit and run, uh, just with any melee weapon. Uh, so, the way I have this weapon set up, I get a lot of knockdowns. Also, gotta go fast is uh, in effect. There we go. Also, just like you can, you can mash it out with the uh, Typeido much of the time and get the optimal combo just kind of by holding forward. As I said before, lots of hits. Lots of knockdowns. And the air attack also knocks down, as you saw. These guys have shotgun. Life strike, a good addition to. Oop. Nope, nope. Remember you? Alright, we're through most of the weak dudes. Oh wait, shit. Alright, minimal use of powers. But sometimes you'd kinda need them. Uh, I'll wait for them, because that's too easy pickings whenever they're blind like that. I had forgotten to take out the Ancient first. Or rather, he had not appeared in my line of sight, so I didn't realize he was there. So I was doing like zero damage as opposed to a ton of damage. Here we go. Get tons of hits, finishers, knockdowns. Enemies can't usually deal with that. Uh, and also, like, just the stumbling from your normal on hit. Like, I don't know. I I've kind of, like, iterated this already, I, I suppose. But uh, you murder dudes with this weapon pretty, pretty easily. One power was necessary. Kind of how it goes. Uh, I don't expect most people... Uh, will be purely melee fighting and not using the advantages of their frame. So, there's that. Uh, is that, that is everyone, right? Music is still going. Uh, yeah, that appears to be all of them. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, just a super fast weapon that fucking wrecks shit. And, like, obviously... Uh, like, just, just mashing E, the basic combo is a nice twirl. Great for infested. Uh, holding forward, you get that nice spin, which is a lot of damage, a lot of hits. Which just amps it up. Uh, and that's actually, that's basically what I use, generally. I think there's a pause strike. Yeah, you get this. But, like, I mean, like, do, like, this, this one right here is the general bread and butter of just holding forward. Very easy to do. Uh, a super easy access, just really good weapon. Or, easily accessible combos. Weapon is a little bit harder to build. But yeah, uh, that's the Typeido. Let me know what you guys think.